last, it's the last one up. Last breakfast on the ship. And last time you're going up to the 11th. It's the last time I'll have to do this many stairs in a row. Ever again. Unless I'm in a hotel where the elevator breaks. Or is non-existent. The Motel 6 usually isn't very many floors. Good morning. Good morning. It's 6.35. We're going to get breakfast. We're taking our own luggage off the ship, so we're on our own schedule today. Homeward bound. Self-assist group A. There you go. Self-assist group A. The people who are carrying their own suitcases as opposed to leaving our fate to the luggage moving men. Here we are. All we need is our shuttle back to the car. Okay, get ready. Uh, she's a little more subdued today. I don't think I'm going to be out of work yet. Thank you. Morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Oh. Now that we're back on dry land, and I can Google anything I want for free, and neither of us fell overboard, pushed another one overboard. There were no at sea disasters. Yeah, but Google did give me the question what would happen if a modern day cruise ship ran into an ice group? So I'm gonna have to read that story. Okay, well let's start with <laughs> we got off the boat and we're looking we're looking at our ship as we're leaving, and we are wondering how big are modern day cruise ships compared to the Titanic, which obviously is the most famous cruise ship in history because it had the worst ending. Yeah, it did. It did. And the answer is? Cruise ships, the average cruise ship today is bigger than the Titanic. But not as much bigger as you'd think. I mean, unless you compare it to like the biggest cruise ship in the world. I'm not sure which one that is. How many Titanics could you have fit into the cruise ship we were on? Um, well, I, I'm not specifically comparing it to our ship it this compares it to the average cruise ship what would happen if we hit an iceberg oh what happened if we hit an iceberg which did not happen while we were on our cruise although kirsten did have an odd fear of that happening you never know I mean, there's a lot going on in the sea that you can't see literally when you hit an iceberg the ship below the water will be hit by the iceberg before the ship above the water line so it would divert its course. It's not like hitting a brick wall head on. Oh, so if your ship hits an iceberg, it's like when they shot the asteroid in space, so it just changes the course of the asteroid. Okay. It's like that. Do cruise ships still hit icebergs? Obviously, they do. While ships might regularly make contact with ice, it's unusual for it to be an issue. Will Titanic 2 ever be built? Okay, if you build another ship and call it Titanic 2, who the fuck is getting on that boat? It would not be me. Even if you put Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet on that boat, I'm not fucking getting on. <laughs> no. James Cameron? No, we're not getting on with you. Because it's just doomed. Obviously not. City, so. Yeah, the man said that the new one that's going to, because they're making a new port in Galveston, which maybe they'll have new and exciting destinations from here. If they have more ports that can, or they have a bigger port that handles more shippies. Said that you could park five ships, at the, that's what the man said, you could park five ships at the new port. Another 
thing that was really kind of, I think we talked about it, that I, you know, I, these people who wear the crew shirts, the matching shirts. The they have shirt. shirts made. Like, literally, shirts made for, there were people every day with a group of, like, five to seven who had a different shirt for every day. Like, different colors, saying the same thing every day. So they can be matchy-matchy. Right. Which is just silly, silly. I mean, I understand But you, watch, that you must washy-washy. Washy-washy before you're yummy-yummy. Exactly. Um, but, uh, I mean, I understand matching your shirt with a child. So, like, if you find said child, you could match them up. Like, yeah, but they, but like the memory game when you were a kid. Right. So, I'd be like, I saw a parent with that shirt. Hang on. I know where you belong. Yeah, but the kids, matchy, so matchy. there were kids who were on leashes. Yeah, the, I saw mostly the, the handcuff leashes, not the backpack, Robin, the Robin full, neck. um, like, uh, Parachuting one. What, dog harness leash, yeah. where they have, people when you, at the state fair use the dog harness leashes on their kids.